Our in-person guest is Jimmy Bowen. Jimmy, I must register a name for him, and it has to be Hitsville, as concerns Sinatra. Jimmy Bowen, welcome to Project Sinatra. Thank you very much. You have been involved in so many of the better things done by Sinatra. How did you and Ernie Freeman have to get together in uh, well, putting when I, together records? When I first came out here in 1960, Ernie, of course, was already start, really starting to do well. Yes. And he was one of the first arrangers to put strings on the rock records, at least on the West Coast. And uh, as soon as I got an opportunity where I could hire an arranger, I, Ernie Freeman was the first guy I wanted. Because mm -hmm. I, I love the way he writes. He's, he's a, one of the most uh, intelligent musical arrangers around, I think. And uh, I didn't want to go back to some of the older arrangers established because I, I was young and I was afraid we wouldn't communicate. And uh, Ernie's crazy as I am, so it worked out beautiful. Well, I personally feel that you did so much to bridge whatever generation gap might exist, and it's really only in the mind, not chronologically, as far as I'm concerned, as regards Sinatra. And yet, still, arrangements must somehow change and be contemporary, and right. you achieved that. Well, the thought was that there were a, another generation of, of young people who really hadn't heard very much Frank Sinatra except the records their folks had. And uh, what we, we tried to accomplish was, uh, with the sound and arrangement, arrangements, to bring uh, Sinatra into the market, the commercial market, yes. and without changing him. Because it never, anytime you take a, an established artist, or any artist for that fact, and you try to change them, you always fail. You gotta leave them to be what they are and change the music and the arrangements around them. And he's, you know, anytime you have a pro like that, it's not that hard, really. Is there one, uh, one which gelled like that, Jimmy? Well, the one that gelled, and the one that sticks in my, my favorite, was Softly As I Leave You. Now, it was the first thing I did with him, so I'm sure that's part of why it, it stuck with me. But it was such a perfect song. Uh, for Frank, and uh, I didn't go as commercial in the sound on that one as we did in some uh, later records like That's Live, which was had the heavy beat and the chicks. But uh, it was contemporary. It was a first step uh, for all of us in the, in the commercial direction of what was happening then. And I, I loved the song, and he came in and just sang it, and it was amazing. He, I think, it was one or two takes and. I can't think of a better lead-in to the song Softly As I Leave You, as proposed by Jimmy Bowen, who produced that record, than right now. We are talking with Jimmy Bowen, who has produced so many fine Sinatra records. Sinatra the man, when I say that to you, what descriptive words come to your mind as regards him? Well, Frank Sinatra has always been to me a man. And if, for a one-word capsule, that's what I'd have to use. He's a very fair person to work with. He's very intelligent. He knows his music. Uh, you don't get away with any uh, hanky-panky or anything. You don't trick him or nothing. You have to be straight above board because he knows about as much about it as you do. You've got an ear like an elephant. Mm -hmm. And he'll, you know, you'll have 40 musicians and he'll hear a, an oboe flat. So you've got to make sure. When I work with, with Frank, I always call the band an hour early before he came in. So he didn't catch me with any flat notes on the oboe. And he still caught a few. <laughs> but not many, but my, my, with people like Frank Sinatra, uh, you, you need, when they get there, if the session's at eight o'clock, I think it should be ready for them. And all the work should be done is for them. So I always call the band an hour early, and then when he gets there, he just works himself into it and goes. Could you embellish what man means to you, and therefore why you use that as an adjective descriptive of well, Sinatra? My feelings toward Frank Sinatra are, are very warm. When I say he's a man, he's, he loves his children. He's very close with his children, with all his children. I, I know the, the whole family. Uh, I think sometimes with the image that he has in the press, people wouldn't think that, but he's, it's altogether, uh, he's altogether opposite of some of that image he has. He's a very warm human being with his people and his friends. If he's your friend, he's a true friend. Uh, he, I don't, he doesn't wishy-washy. He doesn't have half friends and, and so forth. He's a, he's a friend and, he's, and he loves his family. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's an Italian and the top blows off once in a while. And when you stop and think that people like Frank Sinatra every waking hour, somebody's bugging him usually about something, it's amazing how he keeps his cool as much as he does. Yes. 
And I, I read the other day he got mad at somebody in Washington, a columnist or something. Well, I'd bet knowing, knowing Sinatra that uh, she probably asked for it. She probably didn't expect what she got, but I'm sure she asked for whatever it was. <laughs> but he's not that kind of... He doesn't look for those things, you know, but the 10th or 12th person that bugs him, I'm sure once in a while he blows his stack. Has to happen. But when you work with him in a recording studio, he's a pro. And he knows what's going on. He knows what everybody's doing. He doesn't try to do the arranger's job or the producer's job or the engineer's job. He comes in and sings. And if there's something wrong and you don't catch it, he'll tell you. But you don't have... You know, he's, it's great to work with a pro. It makes your job twice as easy. When I say Sinatra, what song hits your mind now? We Small Hours. We Small Hours. Our in-person guest has been Jimmy Bowen, who's been responsible for some fabulous music from Sinatra. Jimmy, I'm so grateful that you did appear on Project Sinatra. Thank you very much. I wouldn't miss it. Project Sinatra continues. <laughs>